Alright, so you've probably heard of hydro dipping. You would basically prep the object, you could either take a film and stick it in water, or you just take spray paint and spray it into the water, spray an activator, dip it in, to dip the object in there, take it out, a few primer coats, and then you're good to go pretty much. The thing is, it's kind of a bit of a couple of chemicals, and you can't really do it indoors very well. Like in the workshop, you kind of have to do it out in the open. I've mostly seen it on fabrics and metal. I worry I've seen it on plastics, but it's great for 3D printing. I thought about using what I had at my disposal. So instead, I went for what I had at hand, which would be alcohol inks, or in my case, it's this monocure stuff I have from my 3D printer resins, as well as my 3D prints. Not a lot, but as you can tell, this is working to some extent. I didn't have a lot of drops in the water, so it didn't come out too well. But before you ask if this is dry and it stays on, I think the blue was a bit concentrated in one some areas, so it's not dry in a blue. But the pink is mostly mostly it's pretty much dry there's still some water and the yellow because I didn't put any black is also pretty much dry and this is an SLA plant I'm gonna try an FDM next but I'm gonna show you pretty much the gist of what I figured out this is, I don't exactly know if you could call this hydro dipping I mean if you look at it linguistically it's just dipping in water and this is basically what you do, but the way you get the color is a bit different. So I've actually already, I still got the bowl originally, and if you notice that black spot, it's actually magenta. One thing to note about using this stuff, or maybe even alcohol inks in general, you want a drop to touch the water surface. If you just drop it in, it's going to sink. So I am going to put a couple of drops of magenta into the water. Now I think you do have to put them a bit above the water for them to spread out. I could have swore this worked before. More of what's happening. Okay, here we go. That's starting to do something, so you might have to move them around in there a bit too. I don't know how well that's coming up on the tablet. I'm gonna have to grab something and move this stuff in there. So I got one of my stir sticks. You don't want to stir it really, you just want to move it around in the ink or in the water, rather. You don't want to like push it into the water because otherwise you make it sink. I don't know what I just did there, but. What the heck did I do? It's like sticking to my stick. I don't know if that's because of the silicon or what just happened. Because I am apparently just dragging this all around. Okay, maybe don't use silicone. That might be one thing to learn. 
So you do want it spread out on the entire water surface. It did spread out when I first dropped in there. Maybe it's because I already did it. It's not doing it as well. I'm going to put a bit of yellow in here. For that yellow moniker. Not sponsored. I just have this stuff for my resins. Yeah, you saw right there, you drop it too high and it just sinks. So I'm gonna try and move this stuff around a bit. Or, you know, just have it stick to my freaking stick. I don't know why it's wanting to stick to my si to the silicon, but... I probably should get a wood stick or a toothpick or something to move this stuff. Actually, I do have toothpicks in here, I... Actually, let me use a toothpick, see if that works any better. Mind you, I just discovered doing this, and I'm still trying to refine it myself. Yeah, toothpick is working a bit better. This could be just the quirks of the moniker stuff I'm using. I don't know if it's specific to all alcohol inks or not. You can tell it's starting to spread out a bit. Uh, let me put in some blue. Sorry this is taking so long, but I'm still trying to get the colors in. It's possible if you use water that hasn't already been dropped, have drops in it, it would work a lot better. It seems to work that way. But if you already dropped alcohol inks in there, or maybe the, just the moniker stuff, it'll do this. I'm going to see if that's enough coverage. I might actually have to get some actual alcohol inks and do an update video. Okay. So, we're gonna next put something in there. I've got this SLA plant. And I just don't want to get the al this particular stuff on my hands because this stuff is actually an irritant. I don't know if alcohol inks in general are like that, but I'm going to drop it in. Mind you, if you are using a film, if you want to use a film, you probably are going to have to use the traditional method, but... Otherwise, I guess you can so more so call it as a tie dye method. Anyhow, let me just. I should make an air dry station or something, but there it is. Now I'm gonna put this over here. And next thing I want to try is an FDM print. Because I have tried this on SLA before. So I'm going to put in some more. Also, I think this stuff's starting to smell. Is that the IPA below me? Because the thing I have my foot on is full of diluted IPA.
Oh, I just sink something to the bottom. Yeah, so I wouldn't do this very. I wouldn't do this too quickly. Let me just do that real quick so I can get a more even color split because this is kind of a larger surface area. Mind you, I think this is only going to work with white colored film, it preferably white. Because, well, the other side's black, but I had a freaking bunch of gunk in my printer when I printed this. So, here goes nothing. Just gonna do that real quick. I'm pretty sure you can put alcohol inks down the sink, but I don't know if I should put this stuff down the sink or not. I don't think I should. Anyways. Um, is it still dripping? Here's the end result. Mind you, you're gonna have to let it dry. And this is a flat side of the print, but if you look to where the layer lines would be, because you can see the Z seam right here, or some artifacting from what I think is the pressure advance. You can see some general color, and probably some color I should clean up. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the other side because I still need to get a hold on this thing. So I think after that I can just put it on the paper towel. Let's move out the ink. Just probably wanna dab it if you can. Don't wipe it because you're just gonna probably wipe all the ink off, but otherwise you will have to let it air dry or have a cold fan blowing on it. Yeah, that's just the extraneous ink. And well, after that, I'm gonna pad this side too. It seems like blue, at least this set, doesn't tend to dry as fast as other colors. With my, with my monocure stuff. But here we have... I guess you can call it a new method for post-processing 3D prints. I guess I can call it the tie-dyed tie method or something. Or tie a tie-dyeing 3D prints. I have to think of a name for this. That is something I'm not good at. <laughs> 